Good morning, guys. My name is Lisa, and for those of you who are new to our channel, we welcome you. And for those who are coming back, we welcome you back. I am headed out to my garden. It has been raining like crazy here in South Carolina the past week, and we finally have some sunshine. And I'm really excited to check out how the rain has blessed my garden, and I know we're gonna harvest some good stuff. I'm gonna start at this cucumber, eggplant, and tomato bed and check out what we've got going on. So this is my cucumber. I love how pretty it climbed up this trellis. So gorgeous. Look at the little flower up there. So let's see what we've got. We've got a giant cucumber right here. I don't remember what variety this is. but that is a huge cucumber. This cucumber is huge. I'm gonna hold it up to my face for scale so you can see how big it is. Got another little guy right here. Twist him off as well. Okay, you guys, so I don't know what I was thinking. If anyone's seen Jaws and you've heard the line, I think we're gonna need a bigger boat. I think we're gonna need a bigger basket because I've only got three cucumbers off of this vine and it's already filled my entire basket, so I'm gonna go in the house and get a bigger basket. Okay, so we've got a much bigger basket. Uh, this'll do the job much better. So I've got my three cucumbers in here and I'm just gonna keep on moving along and see what else we can harvest. Our Japanese eggplant is ready. So I'm gonna cut it off. That is so exciting. I've never grown one of these before. Look how pretty it is. I love the colors at the top. Our globe eggplant's not quite ready. There's one there. There's another one there. We'll let those go a little bit longer. Let's see what else we have. This globe might be. This one's pretty big, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one off too. So that's our globe eggplant. None of my tomatoes over here are quite ready for harvest, but look how cool these are. These are really pretty. These are the Cherokee purple tomatoes. I've never grown these before, but you can see the purple coming on the top. They're absolutely beautiful. Smokey, what are you doing? Smokey's like, Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. I'm very, very pleased to see that I've got a lot of Roma tomatoes coming in because I definitely want to make sauce with these. So tons of them coming in. Really, really happy to see that. Beautiful borage. This is a tomato variety. It's a cherry tomato called, I believe it's blue boarberries that Jess gave to me. And it's so cool looking. I think that these are getting pretty close. I bet we'll be able to harvest these next week. We've got tons of these little Fantastico grape tomatoes. Super happy about this because I'm going to make baked feta pasta today with these. I know I mentioned baked feta pasta a lot, but that's because it's absolutely scrumptious. You guys have to make it. The recipe's on my blog and I will link it below. Yay, I just found something I'm so excited about. This is probably not exciting for a lot of you, but for me who has had a very hard time growing this vegetable, I'm excited. I've got a baby zucchini growing and I'm so happy. These have been so hard for me to grow here for some reason, but we've got one. Oh, and look, we've also got a yellow squash. Actually two, they're little, little babies down there, but. There they are. Super, super happy. <laughs> okay, y'all, so God blessed the rains down in Africa and he has blessed my garden too because I found another yellow squash that is growing. Look! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm going to check my zucchini and my yellow squash plant 
for squashed bug eggs because we've had such a challenge growing these out here. I want to make sure that the squash that we do grow is going to be successful and, and grow to a place where we can harvest them. So I'm going to check for these eggs and I saw something online where you can take tape and safely remove the eggs. So I am going to turn over these leaves and just look for the eggs. The eggs are like little brown clusters. And this plant looks good. So there's none on the, oh, there's some right here. Charlie, can you zoom in right there? See those? So I'm just gonna take this tape and I'm gonna, I have it folded over itself and I'm just very gently gonna press down. And those eggs come right up. You gotta do it just with enough force to get the eggs up, but you don't wanna do it too hard to rip the leaf or anything like that. This last one's stubborn. All right, so I got them all. So that means no squash bugs are gonna hatch on my plant. So I'm checking the rest of this one to see if there's any more. Oh, and there's squash bugs themselves. Now I got them all stuck to the tape. The melon vines are looking really good. I don't see any melons yet, but the vines themselves look great. All right, we've got lots of great tomato action over here too. I love it when it rains. When it rains, the garden just comes to life. Got all these beautiful little cherry tomatoes that I'm gonna pick, because as I said, I'm going to make that baked feta pasta. Got this nice big, I don't remember what variety this is, but this is a beautiful tomato. We're gonna let that ripen for a few more days off the vine. Got another beautiful red tomato right here. And this variety is called Celebrity. Gorgeous tomato. And here's another one of my beautiful yellow tomatoes. I've really enjoyed making caprese where I have pan fried my homemade whole wheat sourdough and then used fresh mozzarella and lime basil and these delicious yellow tomatoes. So good. You have to try it. I have got a ton of tomatillos that are going to be ready really, really soon. I bet you I'm going to come out here in another day or so, and a lot of these are going to be ready. Got a nice size green pepper here. Pull that. It's perfect. It's got little buggies on the top. Perfect. Look at this. This is a purple bell pepper. And I just think it's so pretty. You can see that color. Yeah, there you can see that color. That beautiful purple pepper. I can't wait to harvest that. Got some jalapenos here. I'm gonna let them get just a little bit bigger because I wanna make jalapeno poppers and they're just a little too small. These banana peppers, on the other hand, are perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest some of those. Whew, it was really hot out there, but it was absolutely worth it. Look at this gorgeous harvest. I am so excited to get inside and cook with some of these delicious vegetables.